Well, hello there again. A few weeks ago I decided, hmm, I want something to tinker with, and I thought I should maybe get a second scooter so that I have one in addition to my Vespa that I can use for, like, mostly work trips. So the long trips, not, uh, and, well, save the Vespa a little bit so I don't have to do some repairs on it in the near future. So... And since I decided, hey, I haven't tinkered that much around with a scooter anymore, and you learn something when messing around with engines, why the hell not? So I found a Piago Quartz 50, a pretty nice and water-cooled uh, scooter. It's fairly old, but you can still get all the parts for it. And uh, yeah. So, this is one of those examples uh, where you can see that someone has been working on this and had absolutely no fucking idea what he was doing. So, that guy just pretty much thought, hey, uh, I'm just gonna loosen a few screws and whatnot, maybe tune this thing a little bit, but don't do actual research on anything. And uh, this is what happened. We have two pieces here which are pretty important. We have our clutch, which has some bad has some bad bearings if you listen to that very very carefully if you hear this grinding noise in there that means your bearings are bad so just swap uh, the rear section of the clutch out because uh, you cannot really um, get those bearings out of there and replace them they're and they're really tight and really hard to get at <clears throat> so but that's not the thing. This one, this the clutch assembly was actually not uh, disassembled. Probably because uh, whoever had this thing before me didn't get the nut off. Because it's under really tight and you need a very specific tool to lock this thing in place. Same for the Varimatic. But for the Varimatic you can stick in two pieces of wood on each side. And uh, that will grip the teeth of the big uh, gear in the front really nicely. And you can loosen everything. That's the gear that actually engages with the starter motor down there to crank the engine and start it. So, what has happened here? Well, that guy thought, hey, I'm gonna do some tuning. Why the hell not? Maybe remove the limiter ring which is in there, which I totally um, am going to put back. Definitely, 100%. I promise. No, I don't. And... Uh, yeah, he, he reassembled the thing and didn't tighten up the screw enough. So, what has happened? We can see this very nice and deep groove in our crankshaft. So that's fucked. Well, what has caused that? Hmm. Usually, when you are working on a crankshaft like this, you get yourself a tool to lock the varimatic in place. And use a torque wrench. You need to torque this to, I think for this one it was 40 newton meters or so. Something like that. I would have to check the uh, workshop or service menu or whatever uh, for this thing again. And get the correct value out of there. So, that guy did not have a torque wrench. So he just tightened it up about yay much. And uh, that was it. That screw, which holds all the assembly on and is required to keep everything stationary on the crankshaft, so everything just rotates with the crankshaft, got loose. And when that screw gets loose, the plate, which is in the front here, starts wobbling around. And uh, at some point it will start to grind to our nice little teeth we've got in our crankshaft. And with that, it's destroyed it. Because now this disc has absolutely nothing to grip on anymore. And just slides around uh, by itself and not with the crankshaft anymore. All this just because someone didn't bother to check. Hmm, maybe there is something I should look out for. Yep. But now there's another issue. Now I have to uh, replace this entire crankshaft. There's nothing you can do about this other than replacing it. I have seen some people who had access to like a milling machine and they just milled the outside of this down and then stuck another piece uh, with the teeths on there and whatnot. But this is going to weaken the structure of this. And some people tend to tune around and mess around with these uh, things. So you don't want to have a weakened crankshaft in there. That's uh, really not a good idea. Also, I don't know anyone who actually has those tools. I've only seen it online and I don't know anyone in person or any workshop that does that. They only replace the crankshaft and nothing else. 
So, what do we have to do? We have to split the engine. Now, for that, you're going to need some special tools. But you also have to take off everything that's on the crankshaft. And we have this nice little gear down here, which goes to our water pump and the oil pump. And uh, since uh, not only the front disc has started to wobble around, also the rear disc has started to wobble around a little bit. And uh, since that has happened, let me rotate this. Maybe have a better look at this. You can see that we have some nice little grooves in here as well. Those are milled down a little bit more, so that's uh, it's, it's easier to access. This thing is really rusty, so it's actually pretty good that I just swap it out. Uh, but the rust is mostly because I've had this thing open and it got wet. But uh, yeah, at some point you will see that these teeth are barely visible and really, really flat in this section. Meaning, this thing, this gear in the back, which also has teeth in it, has no way of getting over there. There's no way I can move this over here. And don't you even dare to try and start to use like a uh, a removal tool or bearing removal tool for this. Because uh, the teeth that are in here will break and you will destroy this entire gear. So you have to replace that. So I have to order myself a, f a set of some very fine files and file out every single slot in the crankshaft just to get this fucking gear off. Nice. All just because some idiot decided to, hey, I'm just gonna tighten it by hand and not use any sort of reference like a uh, torque wrench. Great. So do yourselves a favor, get a torque wrench, come on, it's $60, I know it can be a little bit much, but it's going to save you your scooter. Because this is a fuck ton of work and there are quite a few parts I need to replace. So essentially this could go up to 100 euros. And you will end up saving that a lot. The crankshaft itself is 60 euros, but I have to replace uh, other few things on here since uh, the original disc, for example, there is no way that that is going to fit on there because it's also going to be rounded. And the teeth of the disc are going to be gone. Hmm. Nice.